say it's a make or miss league. Um, but in terms of how efficient you guys have been, is there anything that you're seeing when you're watching film of something you guys are doing, maybe not different but better than you did last year? It can't just well, be the makes. Not yeah, and that's not just the make. The one, you know, we're really emphasizing the three. That's one thing that we're, you know, adjusting in the, with the league. And and but again, I think now rather than the first part of the year, guys are getting in the rhythm playing with Demar, playing with Cal. When guys, when they send extra bodies to him or if they blitz him or whatever, they're doing a good job of, of finding an outlet and then that outlet is finding a good job of finding the shooters and scores and they are making the shots and making, but we're making plays out of the, of, of the driving, in, drive, drive kick swing situations. Where earlier we were kind of out of rhythm, guys weren't sure you know, how teams were gonna play DeMar and Kyle. And uh, we're in a better rhythm with that now. And uh, so, and a lot of guys are having, you know, career years making shots. You know, that's, you know, they're getting got a lot of good looks. But again, a lot of it is from being in rhythm of playing out the, of, off the ball away from DeMar, away from, away from Kyle. Coach Atkinson also mentioned the continuity of the group. Um, to you, I mean, what's that mean to you? Just it means a lot. We can we call a lot of stuff off the fly. Guys still remember it. The guys that are playing, uh, we run a lot of our same sets, same calls. Uh, that helps tremendously in timeouts or in referencing things in videos and films. They see it over again. Defensively, hadn't kicked in yet, but still we can talk and use the same terminology and same philosophy. Uh, but you know. The continuity is huge, and there's a reason why San Antonio has been successful for so many years. And um, you know, it, it helps to have a group together. Um, you know, add a few pieces here and there, which we've done. And, and the other thing too, our young guys have really are really picking up things and getting an opportunity to play. I like I said down in Orlando the other night, the 905 has been huge. Uh, guys are able to go play extended minutes, get a rhythm, get their conditioning, and then come back here hear the same terminology, same defensive philosophy, same offensive philosophy, and there's a huge carryover. So it's been, <clears throat> our program is kicking in, and you know, our farm league, as they would term it in baseball, has really been great for us, and I, we're very thankful to have that right here in Mississauga. Hey coach, Brooklyn has scored 100 points in eight straight games. If you guys aren't locked in defensively off the opening tip, how scary can this game be for you guys? You, you need to go in, into the front of the team and say that again. I said it this morning, um, and I say it almost every game. We, you know, we've got to go in locked in. We weren't locked in in the Atlanta game for whatever reason, and it's not important because Atlanta, you know, has, you know, we haven't done anything to think that we can't be locked in against Atlanta. They played one of their better games, shooting the ball. They were uh, physical defensively, but we didn't meet that. And if we don't do that every night, you know. We're, you know, we're not a, a, a special team, but when we do that, we can do special things defensively, offensively. But again, it's a, up to us to have a professional approach, uh, a locked-in approach, and do our jobs on each possession on both ends of the floor.